Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset, and we're back with Endless Legend. What are we doing? We're essentially fishing for quests. We've got a, a group of dwarves here over here, who we are endeavouring to run up here, because we have a quest to get there. Unfortunately, these gentle folk close their borders, much to my annoyance. So we will need to be dealing with them briefly. Probably we'll have to bribe them. Hopefully that will just involve technology rather than anything particularly expensive. Uh, yeah, just come work forwards. It will grab that ruin and that pearls in just a sec. We're making a decent amount of cash, making a decent amount of influence. Our cities are doing well. Our quest is we need to bring a dark form skyfin to this location. Unfortunately, we need to only wait for that until it's winter. Run away. You were never going to get very far in that fight. So just at Scarpa. Um, in the interest of speed, pitch up there. And we'll have you break off and head back to the capital. And the rest of you will head on. So I don't mind taking that fight, that's fine by me. So you've got some building done, nice. Right, so I should get enough experience to level 6. You're working on rights of way, you are. I don't necessarily know if I want you to do that now. I'm not convinced there's much value in it. We'll see, we'll get trade routes of the sieves or other nations if they decide to settle near us. But in the interim, we will let you carry on to that, and we'll probably queue up another Garth So titanium deposit, so let's probably go that way. And build there. Actually, let's build there. So we get the same thing, we get the proximity to that, but we also get more tiles. And you worry about to get fish farms and the like that. You're there. Go there, search, Two go 20 gold those, nice, grab that. So nothing else of any interest there, so go grab those pearls. Who are you? Apparently we can't get to see you until we actually bump into a unit of yours. You're a Delver, aren't you? Woo! Plus four influence on terrain with anomalies. And you're picking a fight with me. Um, can I move you in? No, alright. Yeah, I'll take that fight. Ice Wargs. I'm assuming you're probably cavalry type creatures? Yep, yeah, you're dark proof. Sweep strike. So when you counter it does damage to everyone. No, don't stand over there. In fact, stand there, you stand there. Uh, nearly right, everyone hit this one. Charge. Yep, good overrunning, get everyone in position. Took no damage, that's what I really like to see. You won't take damage at all because the guy's already taken his attack move. And there's the kill, alright. You'll apparently dash around there for no good reason. Now oh, you want the altitude bonus, that's why you did that. Charge and strike. Finished that one off. Done. Thank you very much. Oh, and you want you other people want to see a sky then, aren't you? Alright, you go meet up with this guy and label him not to die quite so quickly. I suspect because I've got movement boosts on. May even give me a bit more movement. Roaming army. Oh dinner. Ah. I do indeed have a quest, so I can pick that up as I go past. And get whatever the the small reward was. Go pick up over there and see if we might bump into it. Okay, so we've got two 
necrophage factions. One called Betty Slicer and one called Cutter. Fun. I wouldn't want to be the Volter in the middle of those two. Oh look, you're the Volter in the middle of those two. Got empty space over here, and I'm building small. Zoom back in. De slap uh bum. Apparently we're going over there. Well let's not steal their pearls, I'll get grumpy if we do. In the interim, well you closed your borders as well, didn't you? Fine. Uh auto explore. You head to here. And just park park up in the garrison for now. That suits me, we'll get that get get that settler out. We've got a garth already queued. Do the settler before the ice works because fifteen turns. Nine turns we've done that, so yeah, that works out alright. Rules area really era two. If you can get that inside your fortifications, it does help a little bit. Let's not worry about that just yet. And let us end that turn. Onward with the first Yale area. Research a new era! Luxury resources revealed. Strategic resources revealed. Okay, so come to there. And we'll worry about starting that fight in just a sec. So we've now got Palladium and Adamantium in our core province. Not seeing any more. This one has popped some Adamantum. Adamantium. And some Moonleaf. We've not got a new luxury resource in our core. This one has popped two blood crystals and adamantine. So this is looking like a very, despite the fact this isn't the greatest spot for doing it, the fact that we've got these resources and these anomalies all nearby means we can chain that together into quite a nice little location. This one's popped up just some blood crystal and some adamantine. That? That's, that's Palladium, isn't it? That's the Palladium. Did we get anything new in this province? We did. Some Adamantian. So we've got... Overall, that's not too bad. I'm not too unhappy with this. We can't build those just yet. We will get that fish farm out. Irrigation requires glass steel. Why can't we build that? Ah, it needs rivers. Right, which this place does have. And we'll grab the fish farm as well. Alright, so we need 25 of that. Now, we did go on the market. So if we wanted to build the Alchemical Institute, we would need 25 adamantine. How much cash do we have? 94. Okay. We've got a lot of gold. Upkeep. Die. Could activate that one actually. Get ourselves a bit more influence. We've got plenty of wine. Alright, let's go to the Empire Screen. Let's activate that one. A bit of the marketplace. How much could we sell our wine for? Much less than a titanium is worth. The adamantine, 60 per thing. So that will get us just the one, and we need 25. So it doesn't look like we'll be getting that anytime soon, which is a shame. So we have only just got to the era. I do want to keep that one. Apparently, spice sell there at all. Stock price is not you did in. Okay, fair enough. What's this? Yep, so we found this new sheet resources. You built rights of way, a watchtower. 
What next? Is there anything else? Nope, happy with that. And you've closed your borders. Fine, you do that. Alright, you. And there. Go there. Attack him. Dredge is a bit weak, that's fine, we'll just keep him out of the fight. You go over there and. Yep. You go there. Click ready. You hold position. Everyone attack that one. Launch. Twenty-three or two hundred. Extra point on the hero. Ouch, 19, is apparently a dazing effect. But that didn't last, so obviously, oh, there we go, dazed. We cannot act. Yeah, we saw it skip the time. You're corpsed. You're going to fail to hit. Annoying that you put some position where I can't get it on you. I'm hoping this is the guy who's got the. Uh... Yeah. Right. Is healing aura? Army health boost. Heals any adjacent unit. Stand there and then attack. It's going to make a difference because this is going to be a kill. But it does cycle all the way through. Oh, was that the person we wanted? No, it wasn't. Fine, right, we'll just carry on. Not any movement points left? Yeah, you do. You might as well parlay. By the affection of the tribe. Bugger off. Cannot be bothered with that. 14 turns until the winter. 2 turns until the skyfin. 2 turns until the watchtower. And then we'll pretty much carry on again. Alright. Everyone's reasonably healed. Let's just go smack this guy in the face. Since we're on the way. It's no offence, mate, it just, you know, you happen to be in our way. And I want some experience points. Do the same again. You fall back. No, I think actually, no, I changed my mind on that. I think you're in a position where you're healthy enough now that you can actually make a difference. I will swap the two. Ready. Alright, everyone offensive in your stance, because none of you guys are ranged, unfortunately. I can't just have you stay where you are. And then hit that one. If you please. Okay, I don't know if I tell you to move up to here. Yeah, 8 points of damage, 8 points of healing. Going around behind is a tactic. I suppose it dis removes the disadvantage from the height. And you're going to wander right over there. Failed to do any damage. You've apparently got some kind of strike through effect. Go there and then shoot that one. 19. To us. Into him. 22. So when you finish your movement, basically you get a small healing buff. So you're going to run all the way around and then attack the guy. Got a whirlwind attack this engine for now. Yep, do that again. Okay, that guy's got a pretty nasty counter attack. Push up. Oh, good, 68 points of damage. Nice to see. None. 
Attacks might be something I might need to look into a bit more in the future. Wailed on him to finish that fight off. Everyone gathers up. Experience points. Yeah, and they had the 80 dust. For what it's worth. Not particularly interested in chasing you down. I'm going to do is come up here. And if you decide to have a go, or you decide to have a go. Alright. So I need to get there. I'll worry about that next turn. I'm kind of annoyed that you closed your borders. Quite unnecessary. Yep, there's a fight. And ready for it. Centauri people. Uh, no, everyone hit. Mm. Mm, that one, if you please. So, my primary rig is only for kids. These guys are pretty nice. Wow, that's a nice chunk of damage on the hero, though. What cavalry slayer is a modifier? <laughs> what do you count as cavalry? And I've got range slayer as maneuvers. Fair enough. Can you can count on what I want, which is interesting. My hero should finish those guys off. Done. And one of my uh, guys is taking a bit of a beating. Yep, a bit more, few more points, few more experience points. So I think that's within range. So it's orange. I wish to talk to. Hello. I would like to open borders. I have a variety of things. Pearls, you'd like? Quickly, Mundi. Spices I want to keep. Gold you'd love. Gold you would love a lot. It's not actually spending that much money on upkeep. Palladium I'm not going to give you. I have my titanium. So, how much gold would it take for me 31 gold I should make it a flat 30 that would get you enough to open your borders up to me make the offer accept your terms and we've got those built so we've got that skyfin so enter quickly dash back over to our capital. That's the seeker. And there's us, a new skyfin. Go, my friend. Go look for things. Actually. Whoa. Whoa. I said whoa. Thank you. One of the things you can do is suck stuff up. And what was it I needed for that tower? It was 25 adamantine. Which is that stuff. And that stuff. So if I park you on that, you should suck some of that stuff up, whether I can see it or not. So that's more palladium, which I don't need. No, you manage to get yourself all the way up there. However, you can turn that off. Get yourself down onto that. That bit easier. You can get over there. Right, so that should give me a reasonable amount of um, 
Adamantium, which may be maybe quick enough to get what I'm looking for. You're a prize army. I don't really care what you're up to. What I care about is being able to go here and search in that ruins. To bribe my way in. Valiant Lightning! Lovely! Right. Aren't you people kind of weird? Alright, so I ain't gonna steal these people's pearls, because apparently that pisses them off. I should frankly be capturing them themselves, to be honest. So we will be leaving your territory, post hence. No, I'm not interested in doing that quest. What other ones have we got to finish today's episode off with? To feed either of them or them. No. That's the followers one. You want that one? Well, fine. We'll also do that one, which I'm assuming is what that quest is about. So I believe the other guys were down over here. So we'll go and have a look at that in a sec. But that'll be next episode. I've been the Marmoset. This has been the Ever Peaceful Endless Legends. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe if you have anything to feel you wish to say, follow, or appreciate. Bye for now.